I just wanted to do a very quick, quick live this morning um, to really touch on the kind of response that we've had to the video that I did two weeks ago regarding the, the, the problems with the fogging market and the way in which manufacturers and distributors are selling the fogging chemicals. So just to recap, I really drilled down on a product that starts with S and ends with Zar, which has got a really nasty um, active ingredient in it, benzalconium hypochlorite, which is, um, uh, sorry, benzalcom chloride, so it's chloride, um, which is lethal to fish, lethal to breathe in, which is flammable, you know, it's just not very nice. So I kind of put out a plea to those people who were using this to speak to me. So if you could, please, if I say these words, Facebook won't promote our video. So I'm looking for this video to be as much as possible. Thank you so much. And as we spread the word, more and more people are coming to me and talking to me and really getting some really good advice in terms of what it is that they need to be doing, using in, in their fogging machines to make sure that they're safe, they're, they're making people in the, the area safe, that, um, that everywhere is you know, clean and sanitized in a safe and effective way. So lots of people are coming to speak to me about swapping their nasty chemical that they're putting through their fogging machine to the chemical that we sell, which is hypochlorous acid. Again, is 100% safe, is uh, um, manufactured by our human bodies, it occurs in our human body, so if we have an infection or a contamination, our white blood cells send um, our, our white blood cells are sent to the infection of the, the contamination and they then produce hypochlorous acid. So 100% safe what we sell to put through fogging machines. And I implore you to please, so that people can get really sound, good advice. We've had loads and loads of fogging practitioners come to us and um, ask us for our help and we're, that is what we're trying to do. We're just trying to make sure that everybody is safe, that, that we in the UK are using a safe chemical to fog and that safe chemical, as far as I'm concerned, the only safe chemical that I'm aware of is hypochlorous acid and it needs to be tested with your fogging machine to make sure that you're not destabilizing the chemical. So just to recap, <coughs> hypochlorous acid is um, a, a combination of water and salt that has gone through a process of electrodialysis so it's put in a certain state and in that state it is BSEN1276 that'll kill bacteria and it's also BSEN14476 so it'll kill viruses. You need to keep that chemical in that state, the water and salt in that state to, to and allow it to achieve those bacteria and viral kill rates. If it's destabilized it's not going to be doing anything. So you need to make sure that your fogging machine isn't destabilizing the chemical. So come and talk to us, happy to help. You know, I'm not trying to um, hold anybody accountable or point the finger. All I'm trying to do is be a vehicle to make sure that everybody in the UK is safe and that we are using good chemicals. Now I do also know that councils up and down Scotland, up and down the UK, are using a chemical that Unico produce, which actually distorts and breaks down cell walls. That's not good. So if that is what's being sprayed around our schools, then that's not good. Um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to give the invitation again. Come and speak to us. We will help you. Thank you.